We here at Diagnomics are committed to ushering in the next generation of healthcare based around personalized medicine. Cancer, from diagnosis to treatment, is one of the hottest medical topics today, is extremely complicated and personalized. There are many types and subtypes of cancer. Rarely are patients similar in symptoms, progression, and response to treatment even with the same type of cancer. With next generation sequencing and emerging research, we hope to bring a personalized approach to diagnosis and treatment. To that effect, we will give you a glimpse of our Cancer Genome Annotation System, or CAS for short. This system is based upon individual genetic information from paired healthy and cancerous tissue. Keep in mind that our approach is based on sequencing data and thus can take advantage of future research. For more information on us, what we do and offer, as well as what's in the future, visit our website. Recent advances in genome technology and the ensuing outpouring of genomic information related to cancer have accelerated the convergence of discovery science and clinical medicine. Successful examples of translating cancer genomics into therapeutics and diagnostics reinforce its potential to make personalized cancer medicine possible. Along with the research comes the journal articles as well as the mass media. In the past, new research has always brought promise to current problems plaguing mankind. Here, a recent focus on translational science broadens our perspective from bench to bedside. Diagnomics is working to make personalized cancer medicine a reality. The most significant impact of next generation sequencing on cancer genomics has been the ability to resequence and compare matched tumor and normal genomes of a single patient. Briefly, our cancer genome annotation system is a versatile suite of web-based bioinformatics tools that can automatically process sequencing data from both normal and cancer samples of the same patient. The process starts with samples from both normal and cancer tissues. After extracting DNA and performing massively parallel sequencing, data is assembled, aligned, and analyzed to identify genetic variation present in the cancer tissue. The analysis provides valuable information for cancer researchers and may provide guidance to physicians in applying personalized treatment to the patient. CAS is similar to our first tool, the Personal Genome Annotation System. It is also web-based and the following will be a brief overview. The main page shows the two samples and forensic quality control. Briefly. This is a check of variance against the reference genome that compares the two samples to ensure data quality. The loss of heterozygosity analysis finds blocks of LOH in both samples, which can also serve as a quality check. This is due to the fact that cancers generally cause a loss of regions of chromosomes. Also, sample pooling gives us statistics on depth as well as it decouples the cancer sample. Any cancer sample is actually a mixture of healthy and cancerous tissues, which makes analysis difficult. Therefore, one of the biggest challenges is identifying the distribution of the cancer sample. Here's an example workflow of CAS. Both cancer and normal samples are analyzed for variants with various quality filters applied. The left and right columns show results from cancer and normal tissues respectively. After quality control, the tool subtracts a difference in variation between the two samples. We then classify the variants based upon whether they fall in coding regions, promoters, intergenic, repeat, etc. to give the final variant differences. Keep in mind that this is just one general workflow for identifying variants unique to the cancer sample. As previously mentioned, loss of heterozygosity where a cell loses one allele of a gene or chromosome is one of the most striking features in cancer. This diagram shows a survey of LOH from a chromosomal view. In addition, you can view individual variations and their locations based on the filters applied on the previous page. The variants are shown in different color based on gene region. The detection of structural variation is extremely challenging in cancer genome analysis. Our CAS system analyzes and detects structural variation as displayed graphically in this circos plot. 
This plot is of the difference between the two samples, cancer and normal. In addition, there's a tabular form for easy detailed viewing. We also have a built-in genome browser. The genome browser allows side-by-side -side comparison of variations of the cancer sample compared to normal. The variations are also aligned with the reference genome, conservation tracks, and cosmic variation data. This allows you to review your results directly on an interactive browser without having to use another tool. You can zoom in down to the nucleotide level as seen here. The bottom cosmic data shows mutation hotspots in this region of the gene. A common step after determining a list of variations in genes unique to the cancer sample is to map these genes to known pathways. This allows us to determine the genes and corresponding pathways that are affected. The information obtained from pathway analysis can provide characteristic information for treatment and prognosis. CAS also shows you your results graphically. This is similar to the KEG database view where genes affected by variants are highlighted. You can also view the individual mutations at a glance, in particular the amino acid changes for these non-synonymous mutations. More information is available simply by clicking the particular variant of interest. The discovery of fusion genes is a very hot field in cancer medicine and therapy as they are potential targets for new cancer drugs. Gleevec, one of the most successful cancer drugs, is a prime example of developing a new targeted cancer drug based on gene fusion between the BCR and ABL genes. We showed a summary view of LOS earlier. In this view, you can see the loss of a copy down at the chromosome and nucleotide level. The top graph is of the normal read mapping data, while the bottom is read mapping data from the cancer sample. There are summary level reports as well. Here you can see the breakdown of the variants and their locations. Also, you can view graphs containing overall variant information. As seen here, we're looking at the distribution of indels in the cancer sample. In addition, there are summary reports of the sequencing data itself. This ranges from statistics on the reads to variants and their distributions in the sequence genome. Zooming in, we can view the detailed information about a given variant. Here you can see the basic, sequencing call, amino acid, and disease information. This information is readily accessed either through the tables or physical map views. Keep in mind that our framework is next generation sequencing. Our first tool, the Personal Genome Annotation System, allows us to analyze an individual's genetic information and is continuously updated with new research findings. This allows us to build upon our Personal Genome Annotation System to readily prototype new tools such as CAS and Stay Cutting Edge. Diagnomics is focused on providing personalized medicine solutions based upon individual genomes. The information you can extract from our CAS system can be applied to many cancer applications such as personalized cancer diagnosis and treatment. Please visit our Personalized Cancer Medicine website to explore exciting new discoveries and research of next generation cancer medicine. In short, our mission at Diagnomics is to usher in next-generation healthcare based around personalized medicine. This requires coordination of research, physicians, and services. We are working to make this a reality based around an individual's personal genome. The Genome Annotation System does not provide medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Analysis and reports provided by Diagnomics are for informational purposes only and are subject to change. Consult your physician if you have questions regarding any medical condition. The results and analysis presented here have not been cleared or approved by the FDA or similar government institutions. Thank you for watching a glimpse of our cancer annotation system.